Welcome back to Tech Mechanic Simulator and we are here in a workshop which is a little bit bigger now, I've expanded it some. And we have a M26 Pershing to work on. This one is pretty ratty as you can see. So we have a lot of work to do. First off it is a blasteroni time with the old rust removal. And I did discover there are multiple ways of doing this. Not just this but apparently I could just use a grinder and remove rust too. It's somehow just as effective. And noisier and far more exciting. Grinder ASMR. They, oh god, that sounds like a terrible combination of things. In context, so we're, 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 we're ooh, what does this do? Oh god. I, I broke it. I, I broke the wheel. We're not doing that again. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. I did not mean to smash a wheel to pieces. That was a big mistake. Either way, we'll just go through and we'll grind off all the crap here. It's nice to do some American tanks now and again because, uh, whilst I like the German ones, the American ones are uh, a personal. I don't like them. Prefer German, like American. There's definitely classics. My only gripe is that the Sherman in game is the Easy 8, which is the version with different suspension. I think Fury. Um, but unlike Fury, you can't do it without the mudguards on, which were basically taken off in combat by most units. So. It looks like a factory fresh one, which isn't too realistic. Um, not the end of the world, but the one thing I'd like is some exterior customization in this game. If that's something they're wanting to basically put in as developers, that would be awesome. Because seeing some ability to do some more customization would be really, really nice. Because um, right now, obviously, other than just doing the livery, you can just customize things like the paint scheme and the decals, which isn't a lot. I'd like to see some exterior customization developers if you're ever watching this that would be i think the icing on the cake you know stowage logs that sort of stuff the ability to leave some stuff off like mud guards for example which commonly were removed in the field and if i want to display a field example in my museum i should be able to display a field example how they were used in the war either way we'll go through here we'll just clean off all this old paint this one should actually be a relatively quick job as I'm doing the engine already, and I should probably remove it first. Just run through this nice and easy. Unlike the Tiger, this one is nowhere near such a horrifically long project. So I'll be able to just talk you through as I'm doing everything, basically. Rather than having to cut away and do some fast motion bits and pieces. We should be good to go. The Americans did make very simple tanks. Much to our benefit here. Everything is basically as it looks. Yeah. And I have learned some tips and tricks as we go along here, of course. Let's go and get the gun. The M26 Pershing, of course, is America's heavy tank. The answer to things like the Tiger and the Panther towards the end of the war. And it was... I think it was like a fat Sherman. A very fat Sherman. In fact, there are still some nations around the world that still use this and the Chaffee. Yeah. Talk about old. Right, let's prime this biatch and get going. Then once we've got all the parts we already have sorted on the exterior at least, we'll go look at the interior and then we can go to a whole new world of things. Now those are bump stops. Those basically stop the suspension arm traveling too far and stop it from banging into things. They're like kind of bumpers, bouncy bumpers. That's looking good. We'll get this side here. I love how you prime the lens of the spotlight or the headlight. That's kind of funny in a way to me. And you paint the lens on, apparently, because it's just it's painted. It's not actually real. Around this side of Rooney. There we go. Did I miss some sanding? I did. Okay, that's fine. We can fix this. And through we go. I must say, it's definitely a great game if you want something that can just eat time. I've not played Car Mechanic Simulator, but I hear it's similar. It is certainly a game that will just allow you to eat away hours, relax, feel good about it, and just have a nice time playing video games. Which is basically what we all exist for, is it not? We 
Need to remove the rest from those. Nice and simple. And once we've done that, we just blast everything with the same spray can and paint on our tail lights. And uh, we paint rubber onto the uh, road wheels. It's a miraculous spray gun that does absolutely everything. Because apparently we prime the rubber that's on the roller wheels and the road wheels. I must say, it's, it makes the process a lot faster. Rather than having to use a hydraulic press to basically push those rubber, t solid rubber tires basically onto the, these wheels. Like they do in real life. Look, we'll paint a lens on. There we go. I must say, this is a lot more like making a giant model. That's probably the best description I can give you. Although you don't have to worry about colouring inside the lines. <laughs> you can manage to get two coats of paint out of one spray gun at the same time. Now, I figured it's easier to get most of the exterior done as quickly as we can from the outside before we touch any of the inside. So this way we know what needs to get done, how and where. See, I can, I can prime without hitting any of the, the, the finished coat. It's so miraculous. And then we go there. Wunderbar. We're going to have a lot of work to do inside from what I can see here. And there's definitely some exterior work to do, but I also find a cheat for that. Once you play the game a bit and have decent money, you can simply just buy all the parts you need. Rather than having to look through back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, try and find what I don't have, you can do some very miraculous things. So first off, we'll pull the engine. On Zen, we'll pause the turret. Where the German accent came from, I don't know. But we'll look at the tank, we'll go, hmm, I'm looking at this tank. I'm going to buy the missing parts. 13 grand saves me time. And then we go to assembly mode and begin the fun. There's the wheel I snapped off. Another suspension arm. And once you get the ratchet gun, everything is even faster there. So we'll put some track on here. I'll tell you what, compared to the Tiger Tank, this one is delightfully simple. On this side, at least. No 40,000 road wheels distributing 70 tons of weight, but... You know what? I will not complain. Certainly a much easier experience. Oh look, boom, done. That's the side of a Pershing put together. Okay, let's get this side put on as well. I think this side's much more assembled than the one the suspension arms there. And I think we are short a road wheel. Or a roller wheel, sorry. Pop that on there. Put our road wheel on. That one I'll have to clean up myself, but that's not a big deal. I think I already had that one, but I didn't actually fix it properly. Pop you on. Pop some cargo containers on that we purchased as well. Yeah, you can make a higher profit margin if you want to, but there becomes no real reason to pay a make a higher profit margin when... You essentially are making so much it doesn't matter. Like, the cost of these parts wasn't high enough to concern me. It's funny also that you can sandblast things and not take the paint off. Once it's finished, it's finished. Forever. See? If I took a sandblasting gun out here and went... I'd take all the paint off again. I'd have to start from scratch, but I don't. Okay, so that's that. And we have a mostly finished exterior, apart from all the engine hatches, so... I start pulling parts out of here. Things that do need to come out. We'll pull all the engine components out and take a look at them. And that's the radiator here. And that's our entire engine bay empty. So whilst we do that, we'll deal with the actual 
missile storage, that's concerning. We'll deal with that afterwards. First, it's engine time. Let's pull this bad boy apart. This has a lot of bolts. I do love bolts, as you're well aware. But like I say, with the uh, air gun, it's not only making us into a NASCAR crew. I'm surprised it's not going... Yes, that is my, my NASCAR air gun sounds. I'm not insane, I promise. There, there is no insanity here. I think. The voice has told me to tell you that. So let's pull the rest of these bits off. Ignition cables. Some of these parts are replace only, so it's just easier to take everything off and go from there. And like I said, the refurb costs aren't high enough to be a problem. Once you actually remove a part, any bolts that are missing, you just put back in from your collection of spare bolts that fit every tank. Which does make life a little easier. And solves all of your worldly problems. Right, oil pan away. I think that's basically everything. Okay, let's take a look at our parts here. Let's get those worked through whilst we go check out the inside of the turret here, which is largely missing. So that is going to be a problem for us. I don't know why I'm pulling those parts out, because I can literally just blast them myself. I get a little carried away sometimes with removing stuff that doesn't need to be removed. We are going to have to put a lot of stuff in here, though. There we go. Let's just get the gun primed up and the seat there where we paint on some fabric. Excellent. Okay. So, whilst that is done, we're going to go back to our engine and we're going to go to assembly mode because I believe, looking at this, we're done. So, let's uh, have some oil panning. Put those parts back on. Magnetos. Exhaust manifold. And the first of the actual engine heads. Or cylinder heads, I should say. All our magical bolts have been restored. I do think the visibility could be improved sometimes because there are... Sometimes when you've got lots of parts in one area, it does become incredibly difficult to see what parts you're actually working with. Or what parts are missing. I think it could highlight missing parts in like a red, perhaps. Probably be easier rather than the transparent version of existing parts. You can even see here it is quite hard to see. Pop the old crankshaft in. Clutch housing and... Yep, that's Jimmy Johnson getting his pit stop. I'm, I'm not insane. Again, clarifying that I am not insane. As far as I'm aware. But that's easy enough to tell. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Put some exhausts on. Yeah, compared to the Tiger, this job is considerably simpler. So we're still missing something. I'm pretty sure it's the dipstick. It's always the dipstick. Engine 100%. Perfect. So we restored all the engine bay parts as well. So let's go about reinstalling those. I think the radiator was in here somehow. I did it through the wall. That's impressive. Put some fans in. I love fans. You guys are my greatest fans. Terrible puns. They're my greatest fan. Okay, gearbox is looking good. As far as I'm aware. I don't think that's our engine cover. And we're good. Slop those on. No crazy bolts to put everything in together like the Tiger. It's just the symbol. And you're basically good. So let's pop this back inside. And we can focus on the rest of it now because this is technically a drivable tank. Let 
Rust removal from some crates. That's a replace only. And it's, we are missing a couple of parts in there. The one problem is interior lets you see various things, but not actually reach them. Which is kind of irritating. Because I can see these things I need to fix, but I can't do anything about it. Are those back installed? I think they're back installed. I don't know if they're installed. That's the thing I can't tell. Yeah, I can never quite tell what this thing's doing. So I'm pretty sure most of our stuff's in there, but I can just can't see. Because reasons. Cool. Let's blast the levers. I think some of them are in relatively okay condition, but the rest of them, who knows? Because I just can't tell. And the game won't let me blast stuff through the wall, so... Whilst I can use it to see there, I can't necessarily get the thing to point at them to reach them. Which does become a bit of a technical challenge sometimes. Okay. See, I can't tell whether there are meant to be any pedals. That is my problem. Okay. So, storage parts. Uh, select all outsource repairs. And whilst we're doing that, we will go install some of the exterior hardware we need to put on the turret. But that was it. There you go. We're dancing on the barrel. Because reasons. Yep, reasons. I have a Mark, Panzer Mark III that's in this bay at the moment. It's just parked outside temporarily. Whilst I was doing some work on other vehicles, but what's our numbers looking like? We are good to go. Okay. Let's work out what it wants to let me install. I'm hoping there's no ground pedals because I can't see them. Apparently we're near perfect, but I just can't tell what it is. I'm hovering, I'm hovering, I'm hovering. Can't tell what I'm missing. Because the game's like, yeah, nah. Anything meant to be in here? It'd be really great if I could tell. No. Let's take another look the other way. Ah, tank analysis. You go to analysis. Hull interior. Battery box in case. Okay. Where does the battery live? All the way in here? God damn it. And one of those cases isn't perfect, but we'll go there in a second. Is this one of those things I'd look at? Those were cases. As far as I'm aware. Ah, that's the one. Hit that with some paint. Pretty sure that was fine. As was this. And this. Okay, what's our not fixed thing? Battery box. Where is the battery box? Did I pull you stupid thing out, engine? Yes, I do. Where does the battery box live? I can't see. Pretty sure it lives in one of these places, but I just don't know where that is. Because you think there'd be a battery somewhere. You really would. Especially since the battery box is apparently installed. 
I should see a battery. Oh, that's what this is. Yep, hadn't painted it. That'd be why. Boom. Let's get the engine put back in again. I'm guitarded. Yes. Very guitarded. Let's put all this stuff back on. And our own stupidity will hopefully not be an impediment any further. That would be a horrible situation to find ourselves in. Boom. We have the entire hull of a Pershing. So, let's put together some tanks. I think we're only the turret away. This one's a quick one today, I must say. The tiger took me a very long time, but half of that was digging the thing out of its hole it lived in. Uh, apparently our interior is basically good. Uh, this is a really basic tank. America's stuff's so simple compared to the German ones. What are we missing? Equilibrator spring. Okay. Where do you live? Because I can't see you. Oh, that thing up there that's on top of the gun that I couldn't see. Cool. Thanks for that. And I have to disassemble the entire goddamn thing to reach the damn spring. Can I replace you? No, I can't. I have to just completely pull you out. Okay. Please repair yourself. You useless waste of spring. Yeah, I'm going to yell at you for 20 seconds because you were the most irritating part that was hidden out of sight, out of mind, and a tiny little spring that a piece of baling twine could do the job of. And all you're doing is sitting up there on top of the breach to basically counter recoil and look good. But no one could see you because you're up there on top of the spring and the breach and you're stupid. The end. There we go. Spring yelled at. The elevating gear mechanism in, and the interior is done. I think. Da 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 da. Space to play around. Hopefully, it's. A, yeah, we're good. Okay, so that is our Pershing turret. Let's restore that to the tank. And only 22 minutes in, we're basically restored with our Pershing. So let's take her through to the paint shop and spend some time doing that for once. Although we will actually first top up the fuel the fluids. Important before you take them anywhere. Make sure your tank has had a drink. Full fuel tanks are necessary for a short test drive, but eh, we're doing it anyway. Because it feels necessary. This is the one thing I'm not a huge fan of here. It's having to go all the way back to the start of the menu. Every single time you want to change to a different fluid, you should be able to just cycle through the different fluids in one go. Rather than having to go back in again. I can't see what I'm doing here, but apparently we're doing it. Oh, it's in there. Okay, so let's move you to the paint shop. And let's make our tank pretty and American. Oh, God. Okay, so we need some big American stars, because Americans love stars and stripes. Not quite even, but I'll take it. We'll just slap them on the back. You know what? Reset. Put them both on the back there, so it's even. We need our Americanism to be equal. And we'll put a bigger one on the roof. Don't know whether they had them or not. To prevent us getting shot at by American aircraft. Because they do like to do that. There we go, that looks logical. And we'll, we'll put a marking on it. Americans like to put theirs on the front. Make it smaller. There we go. Nice. Now I feel this Pershing does need a paint job because everyone needs a paint job. So we'll go Olive Drab. And we'll go to Camo. And we're gonna give this a wacky Art Deco paint job for the owner because Realism's boring. Ooh, that's kind of snowy. I kind of like that. Ooh. Ooh. Me raggy. You know, part of me keeps wanting to go back to this Art Deco monstrosity here.
That is disgusting, and I like it. Oh, this is great. Oh, look what I can do to this thing. Oh my god, that is ridiculous, and I love it, and I'm actually totally down for this. Fire red. We're making a fire tank. That's it. Okay, this is decided. We're making a fire tank. What camera would fit best for a fire tank? You know what? I'm kind of down. If it wasn't so offensively bright, I'd totally choose that. But I can't bring myself to do it. I have to go back to being sensible. But that doesn't mean we're not picking the Art Deco one. I can't do it. I can't do it. Realism dictates I can't. Hmm. That will have to do. Okay. So, we are good. Let's take her outside for a driver rooney Ooh, proving grounds. Ah. She also took a genetic house. Let's go back to the workshop a second. What's wrong with you? Oh, I think I know what I tarted. That'll be it. Okay, proving grounds. I want to try the proving grounds. Okay, here we are in the proving grounds. Never done this before, so uh, your guess is as good as mine. Cool, let's select a tank. Where is my tank? I've got a shed, though. Oh, here she is. Well, I guess I have to drive up to the proving grounds position, so let's hop on board. <gasps> I get to shoot things. <gasps> oh my god, that's awesome. I need to fill the coolant. coolant. No, I forgot to fill the coolant, apparently. Could have sworn I filled coolant. That is a mystery. Okay. Get in. Let's go, tanky. God, that's so loud. That is obnoxiously loud. But it is a tank. Oh my god. Nope. 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 I don't know what I'm doing here. There we go. Nearly a hit. Come on, I want to hit a movie target. Reloading. A bit low. Nice, 
a moving target, shall we? Oh yeah, my lead is still good. Bingo! Strike. We go a bit low, actually. Been a bit too late. Gotcha! Nice! Wow, that was loud out there. Uh, let's move slots, shall we? Can I take out the tower? Yes, I can! Oh, they stopped when you hit them, right? So I actually had to hit things. I thought I was hitting things, but I wasn't. Let's try again. Try this one again. Low still. Definitely low. Still low. Uh, boom. Gotcha. We hit it. Only took us a few shots. Shells left. And wasting them. Come on. Uh. Come on. Enough messing around now. Got a kill. I don't know how to change ammo, so that's our engine shut down. No idea how to change ammunition, but we will get out of here. Duh. This is a lot of fun. This is so much fun. The proving ground mode is... Oh, God. Duh. Okay. So much fun. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. This game just got so much better. There we go. I'll say it in peace and quiet. Thanks for watching. Bye.